Welcome to SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Greg Greenberg reporting live from the NASDAQ market site. And today I'm here with Andrew Seske. He's the founder of the Hobart Blockchain Alliance. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks for having me. All right, so you row, you're big into blockchain, you're an evangelist, but you're not a Winklevoss brother, right? That's right. All right, so you started the Hobart Blockchain Alliance. Uh, it's a big club on campus. Why'd you do it? Well, millennials are just starving for quality information. So I thought creating a club at the intersection of innovation, but having the quality resources of academia would be invaluable to students uh, across the country, but starting at my college. And do your fellow students see cryptocurrency uh, as a political statement that they don't trust the government or they don't trust banks? Why are they into crypto? You know, I think maybe some of it started uh, during the crisis when people were looking at some of these systematic failures, but I think it goes deeper than that. When we're talking about blockchain, it's bigger than cryptocurrencies. We're looking at the ability to drag and drop infrastructure into third world countries, and uh, it goes really just far, far beyond the day-to-day -day applications of buying and selling uh, utility tokens. So. so there's an altruistic side as well, because a lot of these kids are very idealistic, and they want to help people in emerging markets. So why don't you explain you know, what you're going to be speaking about at some of your meetings, maybe how uh, countries and governments can use the blockchain to help their people. Absolutely. So the blockchain organization on campus is going to absolutely start uh, with a focus on education, mostly beginning with the misinformation about the uh, tie with certain cryptocurrencies to the blockchain. Blockchain is the infrastructure, it's the technology behind these cryptocurrencies that allows for these, uh, the removal of these institutions to create this kind of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, transaction. So between countries, it allows for us for free exchange of information, uh, unhackable ledger to uh, transact and allow funds to flow between countries, uh, much less friction, or what, with much less friction. All right, so you can help lift countries and peoples out of poverty uh, with the blockchain, but you can also make some money trading. So can you talk about what's going on on campus right now? Are some of your friends, are they trading Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum in between classes or maybe even during classes? Absolutely. There is still a huge amount of interest in the crypto space. It's been hugely volatile, which means there's much, uh, much profit to be made. So it's definitely an interest among students. Uh, but again, I think you really hit the nail on the head when you said there is an altruistic sense of allowing um, developed nations to really give back and provide a developed nation standard of living to third world countries. All right. And can you talk about some of the issues within blockchain, within crypto today? Um, do you think you know, the banning of crypto in China, the reemergence in Korea, maybe uh, you know, the Litecoin hard fork potentially, you know, are these things that that you're going to be discussing at your meetings? You know, we're not going to try to get too niche right off the bat, but we are eventually going to be beginning to do daily events. Uh, right at the beginning, because there's so much misinformation out there, it really has to stay educationally based. Uh, as the group tends to, uh, to grow and information becomes more accessible and the quality of information is there, then we'll continue to do more and more uh, niche developments about individual coins and uh, international updates. So. All right. And then finally, I mentioned you are an evangelist, so you're helping to spread the word at other colleges. So are you seeing other colleges, other universities start their own crypto clubs, and are you trying to contact those to, to create a, a mass movement? Absolutely. My goal with the Hobart Club is to not only leave a legacy at the school that I'm graduating from this May, but also to create a network for universities uh, to brand, uh, to learn, and to innovate, and create a real platform for uh, students to be more involved with this groundbreaking innovation. All right, I look forward to speaking more with you about crypto, about blockchain, because I know you're going to be out there for years to come speaking about it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching SCN Corporate Connect right here at the NASDAQ market site.